going to talk about monarch butterflies as a testimony of the design and creation of God. You see, every year, a hundred million monarch butterflies gather in a 70 or so square mile region south of Mexico City. Now, where did they come from? They came from North America. But it's not simply a matter of they gather there, they lay eggs, the eggs are born, they fly to America, and then they fly back to lay more eggs. That's sort of the migration of a bird's life cycle. With monarch butterflies, it's far more complex. The very first generation of butterflies that hatch south of Mexico City, they turn into caterpillars, they grow, they eat, they form a chrysalis, adult butterflies come out, and then they lay the next generation of butterflies. These butterflies have flown a little further north. The second generation does the same thing, and then they fly further north yet, reaching into the America region of Texas and so on. Then a third generation go through that same cycle. They lay eggs, those eggs hatch, they turn into caterpillars, they turn into butterflies, they fly further north up into the middle of North America. By the fourth generation of butterflies that have laid, hatched, and been born, we now have butterflies all the way up near Canada. Four generations, the great, great grandchildren of the original butterflies. The first ones being born in the winter, the last one being born in the fall of the same year. At that point, those butterflies, the fourth generation from the first ones that were born that year, they fly all the way back to that area of Mexico to start the cycle over again. Now, this isn't just the children knowing where to go to be born where their parents had laid them. Four generations later, those butterflies fly all the way to Mexico to the same 60 or so square mile area to lay eggs and start the whole process over again. How could those butterflies four generations later know where to fly to? Why would they have the desire to fly all the way to Mexico? How would they find the same spot all the way in Mexico? Only God could have built that knowledge, instinct, and ability into them to form a whole year cycle of spreading these beautiful creatures out across the whole continent and then gathering them back to the same area to repeat the process. You know, these things are there to give us this awe of a creator who could create such a process. And evolution can't and does not explain it. Don't be deceived and misled. Live every day of your life giving glory and honor and credit to who that creator really is. He's the one who made you and made all of your friends, neighbors, and the beauty of the human family around you. And even something like these butterflies are there to point you back to who he is and what he has done.